This is Rap the News. Christians, you are not going to be able to wash your sins in the blood of Jesus. You are going to be brought to God and made to be accountable for everything you have done wrong. As a man sow, so shall he reap, and you're going to find out today. If I were you, I would listen closely to what I have to say to you. Everybody who is going to burn in hell, according to the Bible, is what you're going to learn today. So find out if you are the one who is going to burn in hell. Let me tell you this right off the bat. The Bible strongly contradicts itself. One minute they're saying one thing, and then the next minute they're going far to the left and saying something else that totally contradicts the testimony. It is some of you who want to believe in the easy way. And let's find out if you guys are going to make it into God's kingdom or not. The law is God's commandment in the Torah. 1 John 3, 4. Whoever commits sin transgresses also that law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That means that when you are sinning, you are not going by the Torah. Every time you fail to not go by the Torah, you are sinning. And you will be made and brought to account by God. You ain't going to be able to hide behind Christ. Romans 2.12, 12, New Testament. For as many have sinned without the law, shall also perish. That means you're going to get destroyed without the law. And as many as have sinned in the law, you will be judged by the law. Every last one of you, Christian, will be judged by the law. New Living T Translation. So here's another translation of Romans 2.12. When you Gentiles sin, you will be destroyed. You will perish without the law. Even though you never had God's written law, you didn't want to go by it. And the Jews who do have God's law will be judged by the law when they fail to obey it. Same Romans 2.12. Here's another version, contemporary English version. Those people who do, don't know about God's law will still be punished for what they do wrong. Those people who don't know about God's law will still what? Be punished for what they do wrong. Be punished for what they do wrong. What is that? That's New Testament, right? Romans 2.12. That's Paul telling you that when you do wrong, you're going to get punished. You're going to be brought to account. You was lied to about Jesus. They're just trying to soothe you until y'all go to hell. And the law will be used to judge everybody who knows what it says. Everybody knows what the law says. Obey God and turn away from sin. Matthew 7.23, New Living Translation. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's law. Who is that talking? That is Christ Jesus talking. Get away from me, you who break God's law. So now you got Paul and Jesus and the, the Old Testament telling you what? That when you sin, you're going to get destroyed and go to hell. Then the whole thing about Jesus dying on the cross is a made up fairy tale. That was added and infiltrated in the book by pagans. Matthew nineteen seventeen, And he said unto them, why do you call me good? Who's talking? Christ again. God is good, so we know Christ ain't good. Because he said, there is none good but one, and that is God. But if thou will enter into life, if you want to go to heaven, keep God's commandments. Y'all ain't getting around the law. Y'all ain't going to try to escape through Christ by washing it in the blood of Jesus. Here's Paul again, the Hebrews, or Acts, or John, one of them, 10, 26. For if you sin willfully after you have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for your sins. Your Jesus do not work. Y'all can try to bypass this all you want to and keep on sinning, keep on being gay, keep on doing drugs, keep hanging around bad company, and think y'all just going to say, wash it all in the blood of Jesus. I accept him as Lord and Savior. Jesus came from the Calvary and all this other crap that y'all do. No, y'all highly deceived. You guys are the lawless ones. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death. So when you sin, you get destroyed. It keeps telling you that. 
Revelation 20, 14. Death and hell then are cast into the lake of fire. And you're going to hell. And you're going to hell. The whole book in the New Testament is telling you you're going to hell. 2 Peter 2, 4. For if God spared not the demons that sin, but cast them down to hell, don't you think you're going as well? 2 Peter 2, 5. And he spared not the old world, which means what? The ancient people. But he saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bring, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. How's he a preacher of righteousness and he ain't preaching Christ? And God don't change. If he wasn't preaching no Jesus saved back then, it ain't no Jesus saved now. Y'all are deceived, man. Second Peter 2, number 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. God is not partial. So if he killed these homosexuals, he's going to kill you. Making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. If y'all want to be gay, this is what's going to happen to you. 1 Peter 4, 18. And if it be hard for the righteous to be saved, and it is, then what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Matthew 13, 41. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out of his kingdom every person who sins and practice lawlessness. Wait a minute, I thought he came to save sinners. This is backwards and wrong. And they will throw them into the fiery furnace. But it says, the son of man don't judge nobody. But now he's sending out somebody to throw you into hell. Where there will be weeping and gnashing the teeth. They're throwing you into the fiery furnace. For what? Sinning. What is sinning? Transgressing the law. Failing to go by the Torah. Practicing lawlessness, going by the New Testament. Y'all are deceived. Matthew 13, 49. So will it be at the end of the age, the angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous. All you sinners, you ain't washing nothing in Jesus. For if you sin willfully, there remains no more sacrifice for your sins. And throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The wages of sin is death, and death and hell is going straight into the fire. Isaiah 9, 19. Through the Lord of the wrath, through the Lord of hosts is the land darkened. So when that big planetary system come in and blot out the sun, the land is going to be darkened. And the people shall be as fuel for the fire. No man shall spare his brother, because the planet is going to do what? Consume the earth in fire. How is hell going to be thrown in the lake of fire? This planet is going into that one. 100% without a shadow of a doubt. Psalms 917. The wicked shall be turned into hell. It didn't say except if, if, if uh, Jesus come and saved them. And all the nations that forgot God. What does it mean all these nations that forgot God is going to be turned into hell. You will be fuel for hell's fire. You will be burning continuously. You are hell. How did they forget God? Psalms 106.21 They forgot that God was their savior. Y'all thinking Jesus saved. Jesus saved no one before. So it says Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Well, he was if he was back there ruling with God all this damn time, the unknown son. None of the other prophets knew him. A newly formed God, ain't he? Then how come he didn't say none of the children of Israel or Adam or even Satan or Cain? Everybody in the military, y'all going to hell. Everybody in the police department, everybody with NATO, everybody working in the government, the CIA, you FBI, all y'all going to hell. Ezekiel 32, 27. And they shall not lie with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised which are gone down to hell with their weapons of war. All y'all carrying them guns. Isaiah 9, 5. For every battle of the warrior is confused with noise. Every last military person. And the garments rolled in blood. But this shall be burning and fuel for the fire, everyone who is in the military, 
Ephesians 5, number 5. For this you know. Nobody who is a whore, who's sleeping around, who's fornicating, who committing adultery is going to make it. No unclean person eating pork and doing all this stuff is going to make it. No covetous man wanting what all of these stars have is going to make it. Who is an idolater? He ain't going to make it. You have no inheritance in the kingdom of God. What is it saying? In retrospect, sinners do not go to heaven. Why would he want your, what are you, what are you doing? Sinning is transgressing God's law. God gave a commandment, and you're saying, I don't have to listen to God. What do you think commandment breakers are? What do you think law breakers are? Who do you think is the lawless? You are the lawless one. Revelation 21a. But the fearful, unbelieving, abominable, which is what? Gay people, murderers, and whoremongers, people who are doing witchcraft, wicca, spells, uh, all of this, uh, with the Mexican sorcery and idolatry, Santa Maria, all liars to have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstones, and y'all lie leisurely. Every time y'all speak in that New Testament, Christ saved, and Jesus is Lord and Savior, when it's only one God and one Savior, and that's the Most High God of Israel, all of y'all are liars blaspheming the Lord's holy name. Revelations 22:15. Without other dogs, who are the dogs? Gentiles and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. What is an idolater? Is anybody worshiping anything except for the one who created the heavens and the earth? You are all idol worshipers. Luke 6, 24. But woe unto you that are rich. Everybody is aspiring to be rich. They crazy out of their brain. For you have received your consolation. What is consolation? Your good things in this life. Consolation definition. Happy, easy, comfortable life. If you're living a happy, easy, comfortable life here, you're going to hell. This is your heaven. Matthew 19, 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. What about if Jesus saved in any of this? It ain't no Jesus saves in any of this. Y'all deceived. Luke 13, 27. But he shall say, I don't know who you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. Who's talking? Jesus Christ. Depart from me. I don't know who you are. Why y'all saying Lord Jesus? Is not y'all working iniquity? Aren't y'all lawless? And every verse is saying Anybody who sins goes to the fire. So everybody who is going to burn in hell, according to the Bible, are sinners. Repent, turn back to the God, Most High, you know, and worship him alone. If you are worshiping Jesus as Lord and Savior, you are going to hell. Because Jesus says, worship and serve the Lord only. You are worshiping me in vain. The Son of Man did not come to be served. Google each one so you can find out. Y'all are deceived and going to hell and you will burn soon. This is Raptor News.